All right, guys, figured I'd do a quick video update while I'm in the middle of this, since you guys have missed the other shit. Here is a Gen 4 rod and piston. Take a look at that beast. And then here is a Gen 3. Oh, no. Yep, here we go. I got a bunch here now. There's a difference in the thickness of the rod on both sides and uh, my Gen 3's are all a little bendy and uh, these are the Gen 4's with a floating piston these are pressed as you can see there really is no free movement there those are nice and wobbly anyway I threw this motor together with the flat top 5.3 pistons and it made it made another 40 horsepower on 20 pounds pretty impressive but I ended up doing the same shit and I broke the ring lands again in this motor and I finally think I figured it out. A guy on Turbo Forums keeps explaining to me that I have too much timing and I'm detonating these poor bastards. Take a look at that. Took all the meat out of that one. Two of the pistons, maybe a third. I gotta finish taking this apart. I think number six is busted also. But take a look at that. Ring lamb be gone. Anyway, what he is saying is happening is, is when the piston, see I, I broke all the lower, not the upper, so he's saying it's not budding because almost 90% of the time, at least the way it's explained to me, is when the ring butts, it rips the top of the ring land out. When the piston's on its way down and the ring is too tight, it rips the top sucker right out of there. What's happening to me is I keep getting downward breakage. Everything below, like even this oil control ring, the damn oil ring busted through the bottom of the piston. When this is on its way up, it's pre-igniting and it's shoving all the rings down really hard on its way up. And while this is going up and the compression's knocking it down, it grabs that ringland and it breaks right through all these, I mean, stock, fragile ringlands, smashes right the fuck through them. So what we're going to try to do is take out a bunch of timing in the car and see if it survives. And then we'll know for sure that, you know, that's the problem. But the rest of the motor still looks great as always. It's still scuffed up from when I scuffed it. Uh, the head gaskets were fine. I reused the LS1 head gaskets. I'm going to reuse them again because they're not a point of failure. So I'm going to keep pushing those until they, you know, if they have a problem, I'll put better ones on. Everybody says the LS9 ones are better. Well, me and my buddy say, how do people ever make lots of horsepower in LS1 engines before the fucking LS9 engine came out? Also, an LS9 gasket isn't as large as a 5.3 or an LS1 bore is much tighter so an LS9 gasket's going to be out farther, and it actually gives you less surface area on the gasket. So, I, I mean, I'm a practical person. I question how, how much better can they be just because it's more layers of steel. That's a fucking steel gasket. The LS9's a steel gasket. I really I don't see too much of a difference unless this lifts ahead and someone proves me wrong, which that's always a factor. We could do that. I'll admit defeat. But until then, that's my update. Uh... I got a fresh set of some soldiers here that are going to go in, and we're going to stomp on it again. So that's my quick update, showing some Gen 4 and some Gen 3 guts, and in the middle of my uh, reinstallation here, as always.